What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris saying that today's video is about stocks that's on fire. Guys, it's my job to always give you an update on things that we are in that is doing this thing so that you guys can stay the course on this marathon we're on together. But hey guys, before that, if I helped y'all in any way, whether I was help you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Without further ado, let's take a look at my portfolio. I don't know about you guys, but I love each and every day in the stock market, whether it's up or whether it's down. Today, we bagged another green day in the books. I'm currently sitting at just about break even or what we would call a flat day but at least it's green okay listen guys again if you made money today please let me know in the comments below i'm going to come down there and show you some love as soon as i get off of this video but this is what it's about guys you are getting into your groove i uh, hopefully you see this summer groove that i've been telling you about ever since months ago that how things will start to come full circle and that's what i want to talk to you guys about today about how so many of our plays are on fire okay and what to expect how to play it and how we're going to dominate the rest of the summer into the fall all right so buckle up because we got a lot to cover today kicking things off with amc just our daily amc update guys we're tracking this we are in this riding the momentum 125 shares minimum you need to try to get if you don't have it yet this stock did phenomenal today look at this up 10 percent on the day close over 60 those are milestones you just want to see it hit means nothing in totality but you want to see it making up and steady progress towards hitting a hundred dollars hitting 150 and wherever else this play is going to go okay but listen guys again on a day that this play normally goes down it showed a lot of strength shout out to the apes shout out to everybody that's again holding and doing what we do which is stay 10 toes down you can't make these kind of progress if you're flaky and if you're in and out but somebody must be for real holding because this play did a great deed on a day that it normally goes down great sign to see but still always be on guard keep your head on a swivel anything can happen tomorrow but you already know we prepare for it all be ready to pounce on any dips that you see you guys know how i play check out apple today guys up a little over one percent today check out tesla up nearly two percent today check out neo up over five percent today I'm just showing you some plays that's on fire because this is how we put it down in the stock market. But this is what happens when you have a well diverse portfolio. There's nothing Wall Street can do despite the hating, shorting, and manipulating, okay? Look at Palantir, up over 2.5% today. Still trying to do its thing a little bit after hours. Also, it's closing above $25. Pay attention. This play is going to 40, and I'm being conservative when I tell you that it will hit 60, it will hit 50 okay crowd strike up three percent today okay again these are just all plays we are crushing it in and if you don't have these consider some of these you don't have to get them all but these are the type of plays you want to be in you see what's already happening over here in terms of how we dominate okay what else we got over here square up almost five percent today again this is just how we put it down Guys, you should be celebrating, you should be making money because you are in some of these plays. I talked to too many of you, so I already know what time it is. I wanna see you celebrating in the comments below because you guys gotta keep each other encouraged on the journey. And then I'll end it off with DraftKings. I'm putting this one in here. They did a hit piece on this one and took it all the way down. And look at just in a matter of hours, it has already begun to come back almost knocking on fifty dollars okay after a hit piece they do stuff to bring stocks down okay you guys got to be mindful of all the things being done to hurt you as a retail investor okay so for DraftKings to show that again you can't stop a good company we're going to go back towards fifty dollars and maybe end the week at fifty dollars or at least touch it by tomorrow before heading back above fifty that is a huge sign but more importantly of a great quality company Make sure you're doing your due diligence, guys, on these plays that we talk about. Don't just follow what I say. Take it a step further, okay? That's what I leave up to you. Some YouTubers got different styles. My plays, my style is to help you hit home runs. Already have done the due diligence. You just go back up what I'm putting out 
to make sure everything checks out. Up next, guys, we have our word of the day, and our word of the day is rotational corrections. Listen, guys, I wanted to put this on your mind while I'm thinking about it, okay? I might do a video about this next, though. Rotational corrections is what I want you guys to be mindful for. I told you every year, again, on a historical basis, okay? June and September, you can expect some type of correction. Not as brutal as what we experienced as a family in February through May, okay? But I'm talking about you still will get some. So right now, the, ro the, the correction is happening in your commodities, your lumber. It's going to start hitting the value stocks, okay? But you need to be mindful because the one I'm talking about is for the S&P 500, okay? And so when that one gets to coming around, you will see those plays cool off. Nothing you need to panic for because I've taught you what you need to do in all instances of the stock market. My point being is just making sure that you guys are aware so that we can play it accordingly. We're going to be playing puts and dominating on any downward movement on those plays and things of that nature, okay? But with that being said, look for a uh, pullback and some attractive price levels on stocks that you might have had your eye on, but you just didn't want to buy them high. Remember, guys, we don't buy high, we buy low. So you wait for corrections and pullbacks for you to find those stocks that you like at the prices that you want to get them at. Be mindful of rotational corrections because they might hit different sectors. And then, guys, it will just make its way around to where you may be playing at eventually, okay? Nothing to freak out about, but want it to be top of mind as you are navigating the waters because we sharks out here. And so we got to still be mindful of what's at bay. Up next, guys, we have our question of the day. And our question of the day comes from Howard Whitner. He says, I appreciate you, Chris. I learned one thing from you that has stuck with me. That is a loss is never a loss until you hit the sell button. And that has helped me tremendously. I can't wait until Neo does it big because I have 175 shares thanks to you. Howard, I thank you for this, man. Absolutely, guys. It's important to understand around here we don't panic sell. Around here we don't make hasty decisions, or at least we try to minimize that kind of stuff. And as you get better and better as investors, you will do those kind of things less and less. That's the ultimate goal when I help you guys become sharks, okay? But again, not panic selling and learning to hold and weather the storm is one way to always try to come out on top because plays do come back full circle. And if you understand why it's important to remain 10 toes down, the most important thing it does is keep you from making hasty decisions that can ultimately cost you in the long run when it's unnecessary, okay? So listen, man, I just wanna show some love on that. Wanna to continue to encourage you guys to, again, be patient in the stock market, make good decisions, be surgical about your approach to investing, and then guys, be ready to pounce on any weakness that we see in any play that we like. Listen guys, if you have questions or comments, leave them below. I'll grab them and add them to my next video. Listen, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one.